Uber is a giant in the entertainment business. He's the man behind many of the pop culture moments we're still talking about. From movies to sports to music, it sure seems like Peter Goober's got his hands on all aspects of entertainment. His films have earned 11 Oscars, 14 Golden Globes, 12 Grammys. Please welcome the mighty Peter Goober. And so the core tenant in my leadership story that ultimately allowed me to win in all these diverse industries is that I failed. Has anybody here ever failed? Raise your hand. If you've ever failed at anything, leave it up, leave it up. Now put the other hand up. Oh, leave it up, leave it up. Now put the other hand up if you had pain, discomfort, anxiety from the failure. Look at the position you're in, surrender. But you didn't, nor did I, because you really intuitively know that failure and success are very close together. If you can't manage failure, you're never going to know how good you are. Certainly all the sports, all the movies, all the music, all the technology companies have run. You have to be willing to steer failure down. You have to learn from it, but you can't be afraid of it. You have to cope with it, but you can't own it in a way that prevents you from being daring and taking charge of yourself. You can't win on the basketball court, on the football field, the baseball uh, stadium. You can't win in technology. You can't win in any business unless you face risk. You cannot be risk averse. You have to have a cohesive vision for your company. It has to be owned up and down the ladder. And it's everybody's job to articulate it, and it's everybody's job to participate in it. Your culture is your, in your company and your team is your business plan. It is crucial. It will see you through all the dark time and will be blossom in the, in the wonderful time. So you've got to make sure the person is congruent with the culture. Curiosity is the key. You want to be curious. Curious about the problems. Curious about the challenges. But if you let them run you, it'll run you in the wrong direction. Hopefully I proved to you that I'm not a consultant, but a storyteller and a practitioner of creating that purposeful, powerful engagement that you need for great success. Godspeed on your journey.